Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Mesh tool to transfer a JPEG image into a vector object. If you would like to follow along, feel free to download this file. I included a link to it in the description below. Let's make a new document, go to File, New, set the width to 1280 and the height to 720 pixels. Next, we will import our image. Go to File, Place, find your image and click Place. Now, click on the top left corner and your image should fit into this document. And let's lock this layer. Next, we will create a new layer and we will change its color to blue so we can see the mesh lines a little easier. To do that, double click on the layer 2, then click on the color box and pick a blue color. Let's change the stroke to none and the fill to green. And we are ready to create a gradient mesh. You should be very familiar with using the mesh tool. To learn more about this tool and how to use it, please see my previous tutorials. Now select the rectangle tool or press the letter M on your keyboard. And let's draw a rectangle about the size of this orange shape. Now press the letter V to switch to the selection tool, hover over this corner, click and rotate it. And let's move it down here. Now stretch the sides so they will cover the orange shape. To make our work easier, switch to the outline mode. Next select the mesh tool or press the letter U on your keyboard and click in the center to add our first two mesh lines. Now we need to fit our rectangular gradient mesh to the profile of this shape. To do that, let's move the anchor points and adjust the bezier handles. Next we will add more mesh lines. Basically you want to add a mesh line wherever there is a significant curve or transition from one color shade to another. Try to keep the gradient mesh very uniform and make sure the bezier handles are not overlapping each other. After you applied the mesh lines, it is time to colorize the mesh points. Remember, you can always add more mesh lines later or remove ones that you don't need. Let's zoom in on this part. Now press the letter A to switch to the direct selection tool and click on a mesh point to select it. Next, select the eyedropper tool or press the letter I on your keyboard and click near that mesh point to get a color sample. To get a better view of what you are doing, go to Window and select Navigator. Now, as you change the color of each mesh point, you will be able to see the progress of your work in this preview window. Click on the mesh point to select it and change its color. The navigator window will help you to see where a new color has been applied and the fill box on the left will tell you what is the color of a selected mesh point. Next I will show you a very useful keyboard shortcut that will speed up your work. Instead of constantly switching between the Selection tool and the Eyedropper tool, first press and hold the Control key, now select the Anchor point, then release the Control key and pick a color sample. And again, press and hold the Control key, select the Anchor point, release the Control key and pick a color sample and so on. 
Keep changing the color of each mesh point until your object has no more green areas. When you check the navigator window, you can see I've missed a few points down below. To identify easily which points are those, turn on the preview mode. Now zoom in on this area and let's check which anchor point has a green color. When you find it, first select it, now switch to the outline mode and then use the eyedropper tool to apply a different color. And let's do the same with this mesh point. Select it, switch to the outline mode and apply a different color. Next we'll work on this highlighted area. Let's zoom in and we'll add a few more mesh lines. And again, adjust the handles so they won't overlap each other and keep the gradient mesh very uniform. I'm going to speed up this video, but you should take as much time as you need. After you finish the orange part, use the same method to finish the stem. I would divide it into two separate mesh objects. Remember, the mesh tool is one of the hardest tools to master in Illustrator, but if you want to achieve a 3D look in your illustrations, you will have to be patient and practice a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.